back to my channel guys today I'll be showing you how I make my chicken spring rolls it's such an easy recipe to put together it's so much fun making this so let's get right into the kitchen here I have my ingredients and I have some cubes salts complete seasoning paprika and black pepper I also have some chopped onion you can also use any type of onion chives scotch bonnet pepper which is optional and some garlic some chicken breasts that I did mince up and you know I did wash them thoroughly, clean them and they're ready to cook. So over onto my stove I have a pan with some oil and once the oil gets hot I'm going to add the garlic. Saute the garlic for about one minute until it starts to get golden brown in color. And then I'm going to now add the chopped onions and you want to saute this again for another two minutes. I like my onions and garlic brown but not burnt. After two minutes, I'm going to go right in and I'm going to add my minced chicken breast or like most of us would say ground chicken breast. Add it into the pan and it doesn't take long to cook guys. You can also use beef. You can use shrimp, pork, whichever meat you choose to use, that's all right. You can also use just vegetables alone, okay? It's just your choice. Let this cook for another two minutes. At this time, I'm going to add my seasonings, which are cubes, black pepper, salt, complete seasoning, paprika, or add any type of seasons of your choice my chives and also my chopped scotch bonnet pepper the scotch bonnet pepper do not have any seeds inside so it's not gonna be too spicy that is just gonna bring out a little flavor stir it well let it cook again for another minute or two I have four tablespoons of water into a container with three quarter spoon of cornstarch Mix it well and pour it right into this meat. This is to allow the meat to become soggy, just so that when I put it onto my wrapper, it would not fall when I break after finish cooking. Let this cook again for another two minutes, then set aside to cool. So over here, I did prep some carrots, which I julienne cabbage sweet peppers and but i shouldn't say sweet peppers but sweet pepper you can use any type of sweet peppers i also have spring roll wrapper here and into a container with water i'm going to take one at a time guys do not do two and three at the same time just place it into this container with water submerge it and make sure all over is wet you'd want to make sure that it's soaked all right just for about five seconds count as you go don't leave it longer if not it's going to be very rubbery and hard to work with place it onto a dry surface and just make sure there are no folds onto there then place the cooked chicken that i did along with some carrots some cabbage sweet peppers like i said use any type of sweet peppers and use anything you want into yours and some scallion and this is one method i'm going to show you as to how you can fold your spring roll when you fold you make sure you hold it very tightly and squeeze as you fold then flip the two ends in together hold and fold again very tightly so that you're going to get a firm spring roll This is so simple. This is just another pattern of how you can fold your spring rolls again. At this time, I have a pan with oil over medium heat. Just getting hot there ready for my spring rolls. You can eat it as it is, but it's a little too rubbery for me. So I'm going to fry mine. 
and this is so much fun to work with guys fold it in the holidays are approaching and you can have the kids here with in the kitchen with you simple and easy look at how beautiful these are and I never get tired of working in the kitchen once it's something like this guys I can play with it all day beautiful look at this so over to my oil now hot and nice you can fry your spring rolls until they are golden brown I'm just frying mine just so that I can get that little glueiness out from the wraps once you fry these types of spring rolls they are going to form a little bubbles on them that's all right just pour the oil onto them and there you go simple easy and nice fry them as long as you want and at this point it's not going to be cripsy all right but it's going to be just cooked through and these are what they look like after finish frying ready to serve I am going to leave a link for my sauce that I did make to eat the spring rolls with so don't you forget to subscribe give my video a thumbs up leave me a beautiful comment and give it a try let me know how it turned out all right so happy Friday happy spring roll day enjoy and I will see you in my next video bye